Hey guys, today we are going to discuss problem A, B and C of code forces round 882. So this first problem is the man who became a god. So this problem basically says that we have n size array which have A1, A2, A3 up till An and and we have to like uh, divide this array in k parts uh, which means we have to add k minus 1 additions between them between these numbers such that uh, okay we are now going to call it sum so uh, sum of this section plus this section plus this section and so on is minimum so what basically sum means is if this section has let's say four elements then sum of this section means absolute difference of this a1 a2 plus a2 a3 absolute difference i mean plus absolute difference of a3 a4 that's what the problem a says uh, basically something like a1 minus a2 and so on for a2 a3 and a3 a4 so this is the sum of a section and we have to minimize the sum of all the section that's what this problem says we can see it over here as well uh, section they call it as power we are calling it as sum so this pa a power of a section uh, from l to r is this much as it is mentioned here and uh, we have to like divide all the whole of this array uh, of n size in k parts or k sections uh, using obviously k minus 1 integers or you know divisions such that the sum of all the sections uh, of power i mean sum of power of all the section is minimum so it was pretty straightforward problem so we have this example absolute difference of these two will be 8 absolute difference of these two will be 3 and these two will be 8 again and these two will be 3 and then these two will be 5 and what we have to do is uh, we have to make these much of divisions uh, so we will put this number minus 1 divisions in the array of size n so again we will do greedily so we have to put two divisions so this number is having you know a greater amount of uh, absolute difference so we'll put one division over here and uh, another division will be over here so we'll be left only with this this and this number uh, so the sum of them will be 11 as the answer is also 11 so this is the approach for this problem a now we'll check the problem B. So this problem is rather easy, but uh, I misunderstood. Uh, actually, I didn't properly read this problem initially. That's why I got two wrong submission and I got somewhat late as well. So this problem basically says, again, uh, just like the previous one, it has n, you can say integers, uh, they are calling them minion with some strength a1, a2 up to an. And a group of minion, let's say if uh, we are having a group of minion from L to R, then they have a strength of AL and AL plus 1 and AL plus 2 up till AR. So that is a bitwise end. So this is the strength of the group AL, uh, sorry, uh, from L to R. Now uh, what they said, said is uh, that because Jonathan would like to defeat the vampire minion fast, he will divide the vampire into contiguous group. So we have to like divide these vampires into contiguous group such that the vampire in, is in exactly one group. Every means we have to create individual groups and uh, the sum of strength of the group is minimized. So this is the point which I misunderstood. Actually, I thought we have to minimize the overall uh, strength of the group, but we have to minimize the sum of the strength. So let's say uh, we have somehow calculated uh, that the minimum possible strength of any group is let's say x and let's say there are y groups then the sum of all those groups will be x y and we have to minimize this x y so now you can see that uh, first of all let me complete the problem or the question statement among all the ways to divide the vampire he would like to find the way uh, with the maximum number of groups so he although wants the group with minimum power but he wants maximum number of groups so we have to do this thing now uh, here is one observation for you 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ वी डू अ बिट वाइज एंड ऑफ टू नंबर्स वी विल गेट अ नंबर लेट से इफ वी आर डूइंग एक्स एंड वाई एंड वी आर गेटिंग अ नंबर जेड देन दिस जेड विल बी ऑलवेज स्मॉलर इक्वल टू एक्स एंड स्मॉलर इक्वल टू वाई सो इट मीन्स बिट वाइज एंड विल ऑलवेज डू ऑलवेज मेक अ नंबर विच इज स्मॉलर इक्वल टू द पेरेंट नंबर और द नंबर विच वर इन्वॉल्व इन इट्स ऑपरेशन सो फ्रॉम दिस फैक्ट वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द मिनिमम पॉसिबल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ एनी ग्रुप और लेट्स बिकॉज फर्स्टली द प्रायरिटी इज टू हैव दिस मिनिमम यू नो स्ट्रेंथ इन एनी ग्रुप सो इफ वी डू अ बिट वाइज एंड ऑफ ऑल द स्ट्रेंथ प्रेजेंट इन द एरे विच मीन्स फ्रॉम वन टू एन वी आर डूइंग ए वन एंड ए टू अप टिल ए एन सो दैट विल बी द मिनिमम पॉसिबल पावर नाउ वी हैव टू ऑल्सो फाइंड सम ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ यू नो वी हैव टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ लेट्स ए देर आर इफ सिंस वेन वी हैव फाइंड द मिनिमम स्ट्रेंथ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ ग्रुप्स नाउ यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व केयरफुल दिस इज नॉट द ओनली थिंग दैट वी डोंट हैव टू जस्ट फाइंड मिनिमम ग्रुप विद मिनिमम स्ट्रेंथ बट द सम ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ऑल द ग्रुप शुड बी मिनिमाइज विच बेसिकली मीन्स इफ लेट से इफ लेट से दिस ए वन ए टू ए थ्री अप टिल ए एन वी आर कॉलिंग इट एक्जॉर ऑल लेट से दिस इज द नंबर लेट से इफ जस्ट अ मिनट सॉरी नॉट एक्जॉर ऑल आई हैड अनदर प्रॉब्लम इन माई माइंड एंड ऑल वी आर सेंग और सिंपली ए डी आई एम कॉलिंग ए डी एज आई मीन ए डी मीन्स ए वन एंड ए टू एंड ए थ्री अप टिल ए एन दिस इज ए डी नाउ इफ वी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन इज since we have to minimize the sum of all the group with this much of power so and we have to also maximize the number of group now since the priority is to minimize the sum of power we can al- always see if this ad is greater than 0 then it is always optimal to have just one group you know to just have one group i mean uh, which includes all the minions present in the array means from 1 till n and if this ad is let's say zero then we can have as much group with this uh, zero power as we can you know uh, then we have to like uh, simply calculate greedily uh, from starting up till n uh, with all the possible groups with this uh, power with uh, as zero in that case we will count uh, multiple uh, number of groups but in case when ad is greater than zero the answer will always be one because we have to uh, return the number of groups uh, the maximum number of groups so in case of ad as a positive integer the answer will always be one because let's say if we there are two groups present with the same ad value and ad is greater than 0 then it will be 2 ad 3 ad or let's say in general x ad if there are x groups then it is always optimal to have just one group in that case so that's why uh, when x is greater than 0 we can always have just one group otherwise in case of 0 we will count the number of groups accordingly so uh, this is my code although it's a bit cluttered up because i misunderstood the problem so here's a code uh, initially i had this uh, first of all i calculated ad as i said uh, the end of all the uh, elements now if ad it means if ad is a positive integer then we are simply uh, printing one and doing a continue from here otherwise although this is all unnecessary i i did all unnecessary uh, only this much is uh, this much uh, part of the code is enough uh, here what we are basically doing is we are calculating the number of since uh, from after this point we are only having ad with a zero value we are simply calculating all the number of groups with total end or power equal to 0 uh, so we have this uh, tp equal to a not and we have this group or we are iterating on this array from 1 up till n and initially we are having this condition if tp equal equal ad which means if tp is equal to 0 we are doing count plus plus here this is count uh, variable which is storing uh, the number of groups we are doing count plus plus uh, and we are also signing tp equal to ai otherwise we are simply doing tp and equal to ai and at the last if tp is equal equal ad we are again doing count plus plus and 
in the last we simply have to print the count so this is all about problem b now we are going to discuss problem c so uh, honestly this problem i i got the idea for this problem in some time but i didn't knew how to implement it i mean uh, i don't know how to implement the idea i got so i searched for it and i found a gfg article for exactly same thing let me explain you you will get to know then only so according to this problem we again have uh, this n size array with some strength ai and uh, we can do on this array we can do operations like uh, let's say uh, on, on the array we can choose uh, an index i then we can from that i we can uh, do ai xor ai plus 1 up till uh, m uh, since uh, here they have considered m as the size of the uh, array so we can do ai xor ai plus 1 up till a of m then we will add this number at the end of the array so the size will become m plus 1 so that's what the operation we can do on this array uh, now it says uh, that you have to like find the maximum possible number in the whole array it doesn't matter how much time you have to do this operation you just have to tell in any Uh, number of operation what is the maximum value of any of the uh, element present in this array that's what the problem said uh, okay so for example first of all uh, you can see this n is given and then this array is given that these are the only input we are provided with so here we have this uh, input with n equal to 4 and 0 to 5 and as the input elements or the strength so how they did is uh, they initially chose this and i equal to n and since uh, we have to choose from n to n so we don't have to do an xor with anything so the array after this will become one so only one will be added to the original array now they chose i equal to one now we have to do now the array is updated so we will do this operation in this updated array now since i is one so we'll do operation as uh, a is a1 xor a2 xor a3 xor a4 xor a5 so the result of all the xors will be 7 so in this case our answer will be 7 and this claimed that uh, after this operation i mean this is the only operation this is the only number you can get at max and uh, no matter how many more operation you do this is the only maximum number you can get that's what the problem is so you are given a, an array of n size and you have to find this maximum element anyhow with any number of these operations so let me tell you how i approached this problem so we have these n elements uh, in provided to us uh, as an array so we have this n elements so what i thought is uh, we can choose some i such that we can do the xor of all the elements present from i up till the last element and we can add that element as n plus 1 uh, then a new element in the array so since we know a xor a is zero means if we xor same elements they will result in a zero so from this observation we can see that one thing that i observed is so we can choose any i to make a particular section of the array zero we just have to like do one operation and we have to add this uh, an plus 1 and we will simply do xor of all the possible uh, i mean all the elements present in the updated array so this section will automatically become zero and the section remaining uh, after that will be this much and uh, effectively only the xor of this section will be added later on at the second operation after this operation i mean an plus 2 so an plus 2 is nothing but this section so that's what i observed uh, initially okay so that is one observation just a minute so after that what i observed more is so it is kind of a contiguous uh, sub array uh, starting from the first element but then i thought can we have something like uh, a contiguous array which can start from any of the element like in between not just a first element and and at any of the element in between like 
we we got this uh, point that okay we can have a, an array or contiguous array starting from the first point is by simply taking some i but can we have this kind of array if if like if we can have this kind of array it means that we can have uh, just the answer would be something like i mean the contiguous subarray with maximum xor but firstly i have to prove this thing so th this is the kind of intuition i arrived at initially but uh, after after like uh, achieving this thing that's what i automatically got so i have to like kind of verify this so i verified it we can do like one thing firstly we can choose i let's say if let's say i have to start at the third index and i have to end at let's say some j index let's say then we can simply do operations like these okay if if i have to like get this i to j let's say this is not 3 this is general i so we have to like get i to j uh, you know contiguous sub segment so first of all we will add xor of this section from j up till n uh, sorry let's say this n plus 1 is not here for now let's say this is not here and now firstly uh, and here are some more elements so firstly we will add in the first operation this much of uh you know elements remaining which are after j not including from j plus 1 up till n let let us call them w so we will add in after one operation we will have this w in here like we will add this w element after that what we will do is we will do the xor of whole array okay now when we will do the xor of whole array this w element which essentially is nothing but xor of all these thing and again xor with these uh, thing will result in net zero so after this one operation i mean the second operation we will have let's say x which is nothing but the xor of this section so in the second step let me say we will add x in the second step and what is x x is nothing but this section including uh, from uh, i uh, equal to 1 sorry from the initial first index up till j now what we will do is since we have already added these ww okay so this will always result in you know nullifying this section so we will now do xor from i to the last element which means this section uh, sorry uh, which means this whole section in the third step so now you can see that firstly in this section w w is there so this section will get nullified automatically again and now we have this x section which include this much of part and we are having this section uh, and since this section is already nullified the effective section is only this much and from this whole section if we if we xor this much of section to it the net effect will remain of this section only so let us call this third xor b y so in third xor the y that we will add in the array will be of this section uh, i mean the initial uh, from uh, starting from 1 up till i minus 1 so this is the y section so what we are achieving from this is now if we do xor of whole of the array now you can see from w this section get nullify okay from x uh, since uh, now we are doing the whole uh, you know the xor of the whole array uh, from w this section gets nullified from x remember x is this much okay this whole section get nullified and from this y we are adding this section okay and at the last at the last we can again add this w we can like have it over here and after adding y we can again add this section w so basically after adding w i mean yeah uh, so we can have a net effect of this much of section in our array let's call it p now 
so we can always have this section as p in our array after some amount of operation which i think is uh, like after four four operation i mean at the fifth operation we can get this section in our array i mean uh, a subsection so the problem essentially reduces to uh, you know finding a sub segment with the maximum xor so what i was actually saying uh, initially is i tried a lot but i was unable to come up with uh, you know an efficient approach to find the xor uh, maximum xor of uh, you know sub uh, segments efficiently means in big o of n so i was unable to come up with th that solution so i searched on internet and i found a gfg article i don't know if it is ethically correct or not so i read about it and it has an implementation using try and i just literally copied it and i tried it and it got accepted so that's how i did it uh, i hope you like my approach or the solution i gave you about all these abc problem and if you do please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you